Hey everybody, it's Vexian. Last time we just finished the first boss fight of Revolver Ocelot. And let's continue. I just pull out my gun. We're gonna go back through the hole that we made in the C4. Oops, got stuck right there. Going through this hole that we made. And we're back into the armory area. And it looks like now there are actually um, men patro guards patrolling this, these halls, so we have to be careful. We put on like, thermal goggles, make sure there's no traps. I can't remember which rooms actually have traps in them. Got some extra grenades. Coming in here. Gonna get some bullets from my SOCOM pistol, because at the end of that re um, Ocelot revolver, a revolver ocelot fight. My uh, gun got kind of low on ammo. Now we're gonna come in here. This is a door activated with a tier two key, and here we see like some laser beams. So we have two ways of discovering them: cigarettes, like here. We equip the cigarettes. You can kind of make out the thing, but at the top. You notice that um, my life starts blinking, so smoking can kill you. And instead we're going to use the thermal goggles, just like this. And we can actually see where the laser beams are. And you can see that they're low, so you can crawl underneath them and you won't set off the wire. Okay, we got a guard coming. So let me get ready and I'm going to sneak up behind him and kill him. I'll never know what hit him. Okay, I'm gonna keep going past. Okay, let me get up quietly. Target. And he's dead. Reload my gun because, you know, unequipping and re-equipping your gun reloads it. Everybody knows that. Okay, now this room does have traps, I do remember this. I'm all full on ammo. Okay, so now we can head out of here. And it doesn't look like there's any guards outside, so we should be safe to hit the elevator. And back up to the first floor, the tank hangar. Got a couple of rooms that we need to visit now that we have a uh, level 2 card key. And there used to be two guards patrolling this bottom area. And now there still is, but it's one on the bottom floor and one actually up on the catwalk. So let's pick up this guy right here. <laughs> He's gone. Go in this room here. Take out this sleeping guard. Just because we can. We fill the gun with bullets. And now the only guard that's left is up on the uh, catwalks. So that's where we're gonna head. Because there's a little item up there that we need. Sneak past the security camera. And here was the cardboard box. Oh, never mind. I thought there would be some like ammo at least in there. Okay, where's that guard? Oh, there he is. Okay, let me pull out my gun. I like to use my SOCOM pistol as much as possible over the uh, FAMAS. The FAMAS is loud. Huh? I wonder why I can't open that door. He must be. The guard's still too far away for me to auto target him. Why can't I hit him?
Maybe if I hide in a box. Oh, maybe. Oh, crap, I didn't realize that guy was so close. Fuck, get me out. Kill that guy. Oh, another guy. I was hoping maybe that there wouldn't be any more. Shit, these guys keep coming out of nowhere. I thought the room was clear. Keep that last fraction and cover my health. Crap! Where are these guys coming from? Yeah, let me get my card key back out so I can go inside this room. Come in here, maybe I can hide in here. Damn it. Now I'm out of bullets. Come on, evasion. Let that clock slowly tick down. And we'll be back to normal. Okay, that's good. Unfortunately, setting off the alarm also re, re uh, puts the uh, guards on patrol in an area that you already cleared. But now we have the um, mine detector. Now that I have no bullets from my so-called pistol, I'm going to have to use the promise. I'm going to sense waiting for the security camera to pan out and just throw uh, chafe grenades. Thomas. Make sure I have my card key out, otherwise I'm not going to be able to get into any doors. Oh yeah, and we have to call the uh, the girl that Meryl, or that, um, we have to call Meryl, the, gra the girl that uh, President Baker said to call. Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. Prison? You're the colonel's niece. Meryl, right? No, it's not him. And just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole mess. You came by yourself? You think you're some kind of one-man army? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha! Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people call me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. And they're rookies' eyes, right? No. They're beautiful, compassionate eyes. Man, Solid Snake is hitting on everybody. From the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry. You'll land back on them once he you meet on me. He hits on Mei reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. Then he wants oh, to do I a strip search that. on Naomi Why Hunter. You now, so when you saw my no. Face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah. You know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal, then? Who knows? Why don't you ask him? But first, I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I'm sorry. I was captured along with President Baker right after the terrorist attack. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right, for the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush-hush. But we must have fired nuclear warheads before. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. Well, that's what I heard, anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? 
I'm sorry. I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh, yeah. That's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Yeah, anyway, that's a lot of, like, Baker, little huh? sexual jokes. He's dead. I guess what? video game attack, designers are as the DARPA horny chief. little bastards. The chief died from a heart attack, too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No, not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Hmm, sounds like it, but I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Yes. Is he still alive? Probably. He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. <sighs> What's the best way to get to the building where the doctor is being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training, but when I thought about my bullets tearing through those soldiers' bodies, I, I hesitated. Shooting at targets and shooting at living, breathing people are different. Ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed about being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action. And now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, Meryl. Everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits come out. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> it looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Then we'll take care of the detonation code override. Gotcha. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. Oh, well, that sure was lame. Alright, let's get past this security camera and wait for that cargo door to be opened. Take out this guard again. You can know we're here to kill them. But he's no match for my assault rifle. Now I got some SOCOM bullets again. I always prefer the SOCOM pistol because of the silencer. Now that I tripped an alarm, this guy is no longer sleeping. 
when he's always looking at that wall, so. Whatever. Snake, I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thanks. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Don't oh, move around too in this much. Little Don't worry. Room again? I'm disguised with me? in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. What does that mean? Uh, it means you nothing. shake your ass when you walk. Listen, Snake. The cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas? Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait! You said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure out whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. Bitch. At least this door is open. No, another call. Be careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. You probably can't see them with your naked Thank eyes. Thank you. You just told me that to me like two seconds ago. Wall. Touch any one of them, and the doors will seal off, and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow, you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. I already know how to look at lasers without my naked eye, I just put on some thermal goggles. Or I could smoke some cigarettes, but I prefer the thermal goggles. Now these lasers just keep going up and down and at different speeds, so I have to be careful. I gotta make sure my feet aren't hanging over. And here comes the slow one. Okay, and we're through. Now we'll equip the card. And we're through. That was easy enough. Another phone call. Snake, be careful. There are Claymore mines around there. Use a mine detector. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat, the informant from the Watergate scandal. Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen, there's a tank in front of your position waiting to ambush you. Who are you anyway? One of your hands. So we have Claymore Mines, so let's equip the mine detector. Now the mine detector you can see the mines on the radar, and it shows the positions in which they're fixed. You can also, again, use the thermal goggles to see where they actually are on screen. Oops, didn't need to do that. And to, dis to disarm the thermal, the Claymore mines, you just start crawling on the ground, walk over them, and you actually pick them up. So you don't have to worry about them blowing up in your face. get that last one, if I can actually turn my character around. Okay, and put this one. Okay, and there's one more over here. Let me get this box. We'll go prone and we'll grab this box. Now the guy that just called said that there's a tank nearby, so let's... Let's see how well hidden this thing. I mean, I don't see a tank there. I mean, you'd think a tank that's hiding, waiting to ambush me would be more visible than that, but it just kind of appears out of nowhere. Message. He just manages to 
jump out of the way of a friggin' cannon blast. <laughs> That's right, you belong on the ground. You should crawl on the ground like the snake you are. And now we got this boss fight. Friggin' tank. Okay, the tank's pretty far away, so I'm gonna have to distract it. I can't remember if I use a stun grenade or a shaft grenade. I think it's the stun grenade. Let me throw that out there and switch to regular grenade. Nope, definitely wasn't a shaft grenade. Or a, a stun grenade, I had to use the shaft grenade. <laughs> Almost got my ass kicked right there and one shot by a tank shell. Ooh, that was a near miss. So now I gotta throw some grenades at this gunner. Ooh. And I just got run over and barely took out anyone. But I managed to hit the gunner at least. Okay, one more grenade should bring it to about half. Just got hit by the tank again. But I took out that first gunner. See how you like this. And another gunner. Ooh. I missed. Fun, I could have. Oop! I got him. That'll teach him. I just so happen to have a level 3 card key. That's so convenient. Well, boss, I hope you are happy. He got the card. We'll play with him a little longer. You would be wise not to underestimate him. What did you think of him? He is just as you said. In battle, he is as if possessed by a demon. Much like you, I would expect no less. You see? I told you so. But I will kill him. So, General Ivan, I hear he took your hand as well as your dignity. Watch your tongue, shaman. In the language of the Sioux people, Sioux means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. Well, snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him. He and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction as always? Yes, the raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. Okay, now we're in the nuclear war at disposal site. Let me just grab this ration here. Before we continue, we have to go back out into the tank field and grab some loot boxes to refill our munition supply. Got some grenades here, some more grenades here, nothing on that side. Let's go around there, we got here some more grenades. Tap grenade and another ration. Okay, that should be everything. Now we'll go back inside. Wait for that little left door to open. We'll go in here. Now we're gonna have to crawl underneath this door to get through. We got another phone call. Be careful. 
You absolutely must not use weapons in that area. I've already programmed the nanomachine so that he won't be able to, Colonel. What? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten? That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Don't you see them? Yeah, there's lots of boxes piled up here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's like President Baker said, totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. Her frequency is 141.52. All of the warheads yeah, in those boxes have had their her. detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Snake, never use your weapon on that floor. Okay, I'm gonna get through this area without using any guns. We gotta go up to the Catwalk, so that's where the elevator is. Grab these for me. Where's that guy? Okay, so you just leave me. So, should be able to make it up without being detected. And we'll go down to basement floor one. And that's actually where I'm gonna call it for the day. Um, When we continue, when we come back, we'll continue from this point. We got a lot to do. Uh, but before I go, let me just kill this guy in the bathroom. He's taking a piss, but I decided to shoot him in the back anyway. So, this is Vexian signing off, and we'll see you next time.